come on a trip with me. It's gonna be great. I was just in the UK. I'm not anymore. Guess where on this planet I am. Take a wild guess. It's not, it's not England. It's not England. Guess where it is? Saint Tropez. Original. Original, I know. But honestly, I just came back here because I had to deliver my father back here from the UK. I wanted to stay in the UK a bit longer, but you know, such is life. I can always go back there again in the future. You know, it exists. I didn't do anything today because it was too hot and I just sat in the back of my van like a wet wipe crying about the heat. I actually was crying. It was horrible. Mm. It's literally 35 degrees. You cannot do shit in a van when it's 35 degrees. Let's escape the heat. Escape the heat with me because I'm so hot. I don't know if you can see my face. It's glowing from sweat. <laughs> Cute, right? Come with me. Let's go to the west of France. Let's see how this goes. It says I'm gonna get there at, oh, 5.14 a.m. Because the only time I can travel is literally during the night. But you know what? Traveling at night's fun. There's less people on the road. There's too many holiday makers here. Let's skedaddle. Let's go. gherkins or not were you with me on that decision because i like the taste of gherkins but i don't like the actual gherkin itself i don't know is it just me is it just me who likes the flavor of the gherkin but not the texture of the gherkin what's going on it's a good tiny little bit this one could be okay you rejected it is that a good sign or a bad sign i think that's a bad sign i'm gonna finish this then we're gonna go my heart breaks a little bit every time I leave Saint-Tropez. I'm like, no, no, don't leave, don't leave. At least I have my Saint-Tropez fan to keep me going, you know? Oh, that is a godsend. You want some? All right, let's go. I'm just stalling at this point. Okay, just parked at this service station. It is really sexy here, but at least there's space and light and it seems all right, so. All right, so I'm literally gonna go to bed like this. I haven't even taken my makeup off. This is the essence of van life, really. is just bare minimum effort at all times because you are tired 24 seven. Yes, that's your friend. Yes, you don't need to play now, Gigi. It is 3.30 a.m. Oh, I should really wash my brows. What? What earth do you want? What do you want? Oh, my eyes hurt from leaving the mascara on my eyes overnight. Severely regretting that. It is quite late. And it's getting really warm in here, so let's go. I would like cafe the first. The view this morning is this. Okay, by accidentally uh, driven into the center, it is a friggin' carnage. There are just people everywhere. I don't really know what is happening. I am, I am confusion. Look at so many signs. It's very nice though. I do like this. I'll show you one second. Phone just died with the sat nav on it. 
it so now I'm truly lost and I don't have a charger at the front so 10 out of 10 vibes right now <laughs> I'm going this such a joke <laughs> All right, just keep going. We've got this, you know. Woo! Park, parking space. No, van's too big. Van's too big. Van's too big. Come on, man. I need a space right now. All right, you know what? Do you want to do something a little fun? Do you want to do something a little, a little out there? Right, so I'm in Beirut right now. It is right next to the Spanish border. Let's go to Spain. Should we go to Spain? Let's go to Spain. I've never been to Spain before. I don't know, have you been to Spain? Is Spain good? I've heard good reviews. Still just driving. I'm just looking for a Spain, a sign that says Spain this way. That is what I'm looking for. That's not a sign that says that. I'm excited. The building's here. I don't know if you can see. Like they're very white and then like either red or blue and a little stripe look like that um they're kind of there's like a lot of stripes and like wooden beams going on as well it's really fun look can you see that house it's all like red and white around here it's fun oh this stupid I think because it's like connected to France I'm just automatically think that anywhere in Europe I'm like oh, I can speak the language it's fine no I, I genuinely don't know Spanish hola mi amigo oh crap oh god I'm going back into France oh, I'm actually <laughs> actually gone the wrong way that would be the border what is it with me in directions today I'm just like fully just not not I'm quite a good spot personally. It's so pretty here. Everywhere is so green. Craving. Craving. Green. Green like luscious forest. I found it. Spain Spain has served it to me and I'm so happy. I'm just gonna take Gigi out and uh Oh god. <laughs> We'll have a look around the forest. Okay, just taking Gigi out and suddenly there are sheep everywhere. Where did... Oh my god, they're all moving. Oh, that's a lot of sheep. Oh, that's a lot, a lot of sheep. Oh, it's raining though. Okay, the sheep are a little bit weird. But, oh my god literally in the middle of nowhere and i am living for it it is so damn peaceful right let's go away from the sheep the view is really nice here as well the forest and rain is what i've been craving so much okay Gigi might have a mild obsession with the sheep I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm so tired. 
um, and my battery is about to die, which I do not understand because I've been driving the whole time, which means I think I have a problem with the split charge relay, which is fun, but it's fine. I'll fix it or buy a new one, or I just will keep going without it, which is probably what I will actually do because I just don't have the energy. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm pretty pleased that we're in Spain right now. I feel really adventurous. I'm in a forest as well. This forest is so calm and cool and it's just, it's giving me good vibes, minus the sheep, but the sheep were cool. No, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, I can't wait to wake up in a forest. such a good mood because we love it here it's cool and there are horses and there are trees yes staying in this forest has been life changing it's literally solved all of my problems the little ponies are so cute ah uh, you cannot beat the smell of coffee when i was i don't know probably three I used to be obsessed with the smell of coffee, but I would hate the drink. But I used to go over to this tin my grandma had and I would take it off every single time I was around there and I'd just be like... <sighs> and I just, I loved it. I loved it. I don't know if you did the same or anybody else was like that, but I just loved the smell of it. But I just, little three-year-old me was like, no, I don't. I don't like the drinks, too bitter, you know? Now I'm a little swine for this stuff. And it probably was predictable. I think that's funny though, that you can really like the smell of something, but not the taste. And then as you get older, you suddenly like the taste. This cup is so grim. Why? Why is it gross like this? What have I... Oh. All right, let's drink this outside. Oh, I've just stepped outside and look, they've moved over here. I don't know if you can see, there's a little foal. Just look how adorable, look how adorable he is. Hello, missus. Sorry, I didn't forget about you. I did a bit actually, but it's okay. Yeah. What do we think of the horses? You don't like them, do you? I find it really weird that we're in Spain right now because I've never been to Spain. <laughs> but it feels like England right now because of the trees. And um, I'm really happy about that because I wanted to stay in the UK for a bit longer, but I didn't because I had to bring my dad back here. But I wanted to go around the forests but in the UK, in the van, I still don't think they're that accessible. I feel like UK van life is quite difficult. I haven't really experienced much of it, so I can't say, but I can only go off what I've heard from other people. So this is like, this is amazing. The only thing is, is I, I cannot understand what anybody's saying. And that stresses me out a bit. Like if anything, if anyone has an issue with me, I'm just gonna have to be like, <laughs> hola. Maybe I'll start learning Spanish now. It's kind of cold and I'm living for it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm being so dramatic right now. But if, <laughs> if you live in a vehicle in the heat for long enough, it will drive you crazy. So coming out of it is just the best thing ever. And we're in Spain. This is so exotic. <laughs> this is kind of the whole reason I did van life. <laughs> I wanted to experience forests and beautiful things and just try and establish some sort of internal peace which i'd lost so much of before doing this but right now it ironically feels like i'm losing even more internal peace because i'm trying to stay in places that are too hot and oh it makes life so damn hard in a van i mean when i went back to the uk i ended up doing so much so much stuff i traveled everywhere 
all corners of the UK and I still didn't get like half the things that I wanted done. But here's a little montage so you can so you can see the <laughs> remainder of my time in the UK. <laughs> Walking back from the uh, O2 Arena, we meet Annie. I wanted her to be safe, didn't mm. know who she was. But as it happens, oh my god, I'm a <laughs> glory of Annie, travelled the world. Big Wen It's not a sandwich. <laughs> Quality Street, Heroes, where are the celebrations? Here we have a jar of Marmite. Thank you for watching. I love you. Thank you for being here. I really appreciated it. Loved hanging out. All right. Bye. Okay, the cars stop because the ponies are in the way. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh no, they're coming over here. Oh, hi. Hi. Look how many ponies there are. Look at them all. Oh, look at this little one. Oh, he's so cute. Oh.